In the first three chapters of this course, we'll look at how we can gain more advanced skills when working with Adobe Bridge. And we'll do that because the better that we can get when working with Bridge, well, the better off we'll be as we start to work in Photoshop. You know, Photoshop and Bridge are connected in a really important way. Let me illustrate this by way of a fun comparison. I recently had a friend who was taking a cooking class in order to become a chef. And he was really excited to go to the restaurant for the first class and to prepare a delicious meal. Yet in the first class, they didn't do any cooking at all. Rather, the first class was all about becoming familiar with the kitchen. Here they talked about where they could find important kitchen tools. They discussed how they could work with and find the pots and pans, the knives, the spices. And in a sense, Adobe Bridge is our, quote, kitchen. It's our workspace. And the better that we can get with working with this workspace, well, the better off we'll be when we get to Photoshop. All right, well, here in this movie, I simply want to introduce you to one topic that we'll be talking about in Adobe Bridge, and that is a topic of how we can filter, find, and access our images more quickly. In particular, I want to talk about how we can add stars or labels to our photographs. And in this first movie, I just want to walk through a few slides in order to highlight some shortcuts that we'll be actually using in the next movie. All right, well, here you can see I have a photograph. This is a photograph of my nephew, Stuart. And next to the photograph, we have a sticky note and some stars. But why are those items there? Well, in Adobe Bridge, you can add star ratings to your photographs in order to signify the quality. Perhaps you give an image a one-star rating if it isn't very good. In contrast, you could give a photograph a five-star rating in order to signify that that image is amazing. And we can use star ratings in order to try to separate the wheat from the chaff, or those photographs which are great from others which aren't so great. We can also use labels. I like to think of labels kind of like a sticky note. Imagine putting a sticky note on an image and then writing on the sticky note, send to client or include in portfolio. And in a sense, labels give us another way to sort of earmark or set apart certain photographs. Now we all know about stars and labels, but what I want to do here is dig a little bit deeper into how we can work with stars and labels. In particular, I want to talk about some shortcuts that we can use. If we want to add stars, what we can do is we can press Command on a Mac or Control on Windows, and then we can press the number keys between 0 and 5. 0 will remove the star rating. 1 through 5 will add that particular star rating. And in this way, we can use the shortcut in order to quickly evaluate our photographs. We can also do the same thing with labels. Press Command on a Mac, Control on Windows, and then 6 through 9. Here we can add or remove labels to our photographs as well. And one of the reasons why I wanted to pause before we actually begin and show you this shortcut is so that you write it down. Because this is one of those shortcuts you just have to know if you want to get good at working with Adobe Bridge. The other reason is because if you can learn this shortcut, well, then you can learn another one, which isn't very different from this, which will help you to filter and find your images with more ease. And here it is. If we want to filter or find our photographs based on their star or label rating, what you can do is press Command Option on a Mac or Control Alt on Windows, and then click on the criteria which you want to filter. In other words, let's say you have a folder full of 100 photographs, and you have six images which have a three-star rating. Well, if you press Command Option 3 on a Mac or Control Alt 3 on Windows, it would then only show you those images with that criteria. And you can do this with stars or labels. Again, here, I recommend that you write down these shortcuts because these shortcuts are a few which are really helpful when it comes to speeding up your workflow when working with Bridge. All right, well, now that we've been introduced to the concept of using these shortcuts, let's take a look at how all of this works. And let's do that in the next movie.